From the very beginning, we wanted Lucid to explore what an entirely new luxury experience could be. Not bound by legacy technologies like the internal combustion engine, and not bound by the tradition of the automobile. That way, we could really focus on the future. We could take a new look at cutting edge technologies, technologies we feel will expand the luxury experience and how we think about mobility. We focused on how we could transform the space both inside the vehicle as well as the space the vehicle takes up in the world around us. The inspiration for the Lucid Air was drawn from the travel experience of an executive jet. And the key enabler for that is the miniaturization of the electric powertrain. A traditional car has much of its space occupied by the internal combustion engine. If you replace those traditional components with an electric drive line and batteries, you can open up a lot more space for the occupants. You can effectively reduce the height and the length of the vehicle whilst increasing the interior space. The consequence is a product which is truly disruptive in its nature, spanning a whole range of traditional products. Uh, no longer has the customer to choose between a traditional segment. The customer can have optimal experience in a single vehicle. With a significantly smaller exterior footprint, the Lucid Air offers even greater interior space than competitors' largest class-leading sedans. The Lucid Air is a vehicle without compromise, one that has incredible performance, dynamic and emotional styling, yet still offers enough space and comfort for a sublime luxury experience.
I'm Nick Perrin and I'm race engineer at Next TV. When I met with Martin Nietzsche at the beginning of the project, he explained how he wanted that car to become the fastest electric car on earth and still look like a really beautiful road car. That combination has never existed before. On paper, a lunatic project. Really short time, completely to the edge of the envelope of what was possible. The circuit is unique, very fast flowing corners, kind of the ideal venue to, to test any car. You now me and Oliver, we're going to try to break all the records that we can, driving as quick as we can. You want it to be beautiful, but you need it to perform. So the target numbers we went for are all in this car. They're all there. My first experience of the EP9, the response of the electric motors is phenomenal. the active suspension keeping a constant ride height and gives you a very good balance throughout the corner and uh, real confidence in the car. But it's a car that has a massive amount of downforce. amazing. I think what the team wanted to see is how far we could go. We are pushing the boundary even further. It's interesting to see that the vision was right.